Hey guys, I uh, hope you're doing great today and welcome to your 13th tutorial in basic statistics in Excel. It's just a really quick tutorial on how to calculate the shares of frequencies in a, in a, in a grouped table like this. So we're just going to do that really quick before we move on to diagrams. So uh, in order to calculate the, the, the shares of frequencies that frequencies have um, the, on the total, you, you first have to start by writing, finding the sum of all the frequencies. So we do that by the sum formula and we get we have 25 uh, people in our material. Then we take each frequency divided by the total. Now it's important to put a dollar sign here uh, in between C10 in order to fixate this uh, value so it doesn't change because now we're going to pull it down all the way here and just to be sure we can sum them all up and we get 1, which means we've done it correctly. Uh, if we want to turn these shares into percent, we go equal to, we take each share, and we multiply it by 100. So this first share holds 32% of the, um, the frequencies in the material, this first category, this first class in the material. Uh, we can do the same here, we just put it all the way down, and if we want to sum it, we just mark the whole data, and we get 100. So that was just really quickly on how to calculate the shares and the, um, the percent uh, of frequencies in different categories within a grouped frequency table. So I hope I'll see you in tutorial number 14 when we get started on diagrams. So cheers. Bye-bye.